Hi everyone, it is fashion month. I'm gonna have a moment of transparency. Honestly, I've never watched a full menswear show. I know, it's crazy. I've seen pictures, I've seen pieces of shows, but I've never seen a whole show. And I know I have guys that watch my channel, watch my upcycles, and they have been encouraging me to get more into menswear. So I, that's exactly what I'm doing. And you know, a couple of moments of transparency, since we're being transparent, I wore this top because it is menswear inspired. I made this top about two years ago. I absolutely love it. You can see it has the balloon sleeves. I think this was the first balloon sleeve project I did, I've done on the channel. But if I stand up, it doesn't completely fit. I can't even wear a bra with this top and get it the buttons closed. So I need to make another one um, to fit. But I wanted to wear it because I think you guys need to see this tutorial. I'll link it here. And then the last moment of transparency is that my youngest child has no more clean clothes. I need to do laundry. He's the only one left that doesn't know how to do his laundry completely by himself. So he's running around in underwear. He's perfectly happy, but I guess I'm not winning any Mom of the Year awards today. If you are perfectly imperfect, just like me, then continue watching this video. I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. And there's a gnat trying to get me. It's all kind of stuff going on. But I am so so excited to share this with you guys. I have about six shows that I want to share with you and they're from all over the world. I was not sure what to expect because I normally typically expect menswear to be kind of boring and to be honest like you guys make it seem like when you come to the channel you make it seem like it's boring so I'm like uh, I don't want to watch these shows but I got really into this and I found so much and I'm going to share with you about 12 trends actually more than that but 12 specific trends that everybody not just men that everybody men and women can take from these menswear runway shows all right so we're going to start with Louis Vuitton I am I have my screen right here I am going to play it from here so you'll see me looking over a bit but we're just going to watch it together and you guys know how much I love these shows I have a whole playlist of my reviews of past runway shows here if you're interested but we're kicking off fashion month with menswear and I'm super excited so let's do it okay so here I'll sh I'm showing you guys that it started off just very dapper which is what I expect from menswear um their details of course Louis Vuitton details is always amazing bags always amazing but in few in the past videos I have been showing you guys um, that harnesses are really really in or I've seen them in past videos and then I see this one that is a harness a suit harness connected to suspenders yes I want that that is amazing I slowed it down here for you guys look at that that is just like I love it and then the color of that bag I just had to show it to you but look at the suit it's like his suit has a suit harness that's number one suit harnesses and then you can see it again here on this jacket it's like a harness woven into the suit so I'm calling it the suit harness and that's something definitely that we can do look at that you're gonna see it again um, something we can definitely do as upsiders look at this that's number two like really what is that how are they taking okay in my mind i always think of everything as upcycling they're taking that suit breaking it apart and keeping it attached all at the same time to reveal what's underneath that flipped my wig like ah that is crazy and you can see it's attached by um seams like like little open seams but oh uh, oh uh. That is so good. And then here, you can see that it looks like paint splatters. Like they took a suit and paint splatters. There's that color again. Oh, they just move so fast. I need to slow this whole thing down. They just move so fast, but look like paint splatters. And I really, really, really like that. And of course, I'll show you this color again. It's just amazing. That, oh, that full color. And look at the inner weaving on his shoulder. I'm gonna slow it down here again. You can see that it looks like it has the raglan sleeve on it. A dress shirt with a raglan sleeve, amazing. And then it's woven on the sleeve. That is just so, so good. So good. I absolutely love that. And last thing for Louis Vuitton was these cloud, like, 
heavenly <laughs> suits, but I just once again thought about paint. So think about the weaving, the harnesses, and like the painting, maybe not bleach, because that on a suit would mess it up, but maybe paint on a blazer and that is just going to take your up cycles as far as menswear to the next level and those are things that even we as women can do um so yes i absolutely love louis vuitton's show i'll put a link to all of the shows in the description box so you guys can see them you won't miss anything or don't miss anything go back and watch these because they're absolutely amazing i'm just highlighting the things that i feel like as up cyclers we can do um to take our up cycles to the next level Hey, if you're enjoying this video, definitely hit that subscribe button because it is fashion month, like I said. I will be doing more of these for women's wear, so definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. I am doing a giveaway all the way up until we hit 1 million. The first one is coming up. I actually picked a guy, so you'll be able to see him on the very next video after this one, so definitely subscribe. You don't want to miss it. Okay, so the next one we're going to talk about is Loewe. I always love their women's wear shows, so I should have known that I would love their men's wear as well. So last time, the first two that we talked about were the suiting harnesses, suit harnesses. And then the second one for Louis Vuitton was the cutouts. We're talking about cutouts in suits and coats and different things like that. So this time, I want you to look at the piping details and these chain belts. Let's look at it. Okay, so they start out, we talked last season a lot about capes, so I wanted to show you guys that for men's wear as well as women's wear, that you're still seeing a lot of capes walking down the runway. Um, sometimes the capes are just the sleeves, sometimes they go all the way to the back, which is technically a cape, but I like this cute little elephant bag. That was really, really nice. Um, but I want you guys to see, and once again, it's almost like a harness around his uh, shoulders, but look at the piping detail. So imagine you just at the thrift store, you find a regular wool coat and you go back and add those piping details to just, mm, it just, mm, it just makes it stand out. It makes it pop. It, to me, it makes it a little bit futuristic and I really, really love, love that about the piping details. I want to show you guys this sparkles, um, like cascading sparkles. I saw a lot of that. And then once again, look how electrifying this coat looks with those piping details. It just, oh, it just makes the coat for me and it makes the scarf for me. So yes, I absolutely love that. And then you can see on his uh, turkey shirt, <laughs> he has like roosters on his shirt, but the belt with the chains hanging down. Now, that's definitely something both men and women can be inspired by um, from this show. So those are just the things that I wanted to highlight to you guys about this show. You definitely can go and look at the entire show. All right, next up is Ethro. And I... I think this is my first time reviewing them, you know, on women's or men's. But... I first started watching the show and you're gonna see... And I was like, hmm, you know, but ugh, something something gathered my caught my eye where I don't just want it I need it and I'm gonna show it to you right now okay so the show starts off more like a Western vibe it has a really really Western vibe the guys are like once again very dapper but they have that Western kind of element you know this guy he looks you know perfectly nice the fabric on that coat is amazing but look at the guy behind him oh my gosh Look at the, it's like a blanket scarf. Look at the tassels at the bottom. It's like a blanket scarf mixed with a leather jacket. That is perfectly doable for any of you guys who upcycle. And then he has the hat on with it. Yes. And then here is a blanket coat. I had to show you guys, even though this one's not so much of an upcycle, but yes, that burgundy. Yes. And then the next one I just threw in for grands. Look at this paisley blazer. That's just, mmm. That's just amazing. I love it. I love it. Imagine it in bright colors, like this suit, this velour suit. I love velour blazers. I absolutely love them. At one point, I had a bright pink one, and I wish I hadn't have given it away. And then look at this. Look at this. That coat is amazing. 
it is absolutely amazing and you're gonna see this print throughout in some other shows I'm gonna show it to you so this definitely is a trend that cheetah print but I like the way that coat was done like cheetah print can be a little over the top sometimes but I absolutely love the way that was done so yes what I want you to remember for this one is the blanket scarf mixed with the leather jacket Think about as you go to the thrift store um, and you see those thick scarves, especially with the tassels, how you can incorporate those into your garments to just take it to a whole nother level. That oh, is just going to be so good. You guys, let me know which of these at the end. Let me know after you've seen them all. Let me know which ones you want to see me tackle and then which ones you feel like you want to tackle on your own or, you know, you whichever ones you want to do. Let me know in the comments below. All right, let's get to the next one. So next up we have Dior. And what I want you to notice about this one is the velour gloves and how they're worn, the length of them, and the long dress shirts. We have been talking about that at the beginning of one of the shows. I think it was the very first one I did for Women's Wear last season. I went bonkers for this long dress shirt, uh, like dress thing, but she had it over pants. It is the exact same concept shown here in menswear. And so I think universally in a very unisex and cool and amazing way, taking a bunch of dress shirts and layering them, whether they're contrasting, whether they're the same color, whether they exactly match or not is, I mean, you're going to see one that is half and half. That's just an amazing way um, to just really, like rock uh, the new type of dress shirt and you're gonna see they're constantly like constantly redefining the dress shirt and I you guys know that I love that so let's get into this show okay so you see that the gloves are velour they oh I love that color that color is just one of my it colors right now and he has it the sleeve of the jacket pushed up and that color too sleeve of the jacket pushed up with the glove being like the pop of color like the focal point and i love that and look at the men's dress shirt this one is half and half like i told you you would see half and half under a trench coat or a long blazer or something like that <sighs> Yes, again, once again, he has on the long dress shirt, him as well, the sleeve, the uh, gloves all the way up to almost like right underneath the elbow. And then of course, I just showed you this because half and half has really, really been a big trend. We've done it a couple of times on this channel. So think, really think about that. Cutting things in half, long dress shirts and those velour gloves. I absolutely want to do those velour gloves. As a matter of fact, I already, I went thrifting yesterday and I have the fabric, the garments in velour. Um, I believe one is a pink, one is a silver, and one is like this uh, dusty rose color. So I am looking forward so much to doing that for the winter time. Just imagine, like you're walking in the winter time, like down the street of Chicago, because that's where I walk in the winter time, and you have on a blazer or coat pushed up, and the and those velour gloves. Mmm. Mmm. So good, so good, so, so, so good. So yes, I am so excited. I'm definitely, definitely going to do that video. Um, and if you guys don't want to see it, then I'll just do it for myself. <laughs> But let me know in the comments if you want to see that. All right, so next up is Dries Van Noten. And I only have one thing that I am going to highlight as the upcycle thing. But I have some other things that I want to show you with this one as well. What I want to highlight this time, you guys know that we've already been doing that on this channel. And I really tried to stay with the uh, runway shows and with what's going on because they're ahead of fashion. It's like two years later from the runway shows is when you really see these things going out into retail. So if you follow fashion shows and different things like that, just be aware that you're going to be ahead of fashion. You're going to be fashion forward as they say. So a lot of people probably will be wondering your style will be a little bit strange to people, you know, but you know, by the time you see it actually in retail, like for instance, like I saw on Forever 21's website, they're doing how to style biker shorts. Like we were doing that two years ago. So, you know, just be aware that people will be kind of looking at you funny, but that's just how I like, you know, I really like to um, just 
and it's not necessarily stay with style i do love fashion trends i just love how they change i love how they transform because if you track them you can kind of see where they're going and, and that's just interesting to me but like i was saying we have been doing this thing already and it's cropping trench coats we've seen it in past shows and you can kind of see it transforming but i want you to see this specific crop trench coat in this particular uh runway show okay so it starts off once again with these plaid patterns put together i love the way they were put together like their styling and everything just absolutely just amazing i love short pants and then he has the long boots that's just my kind of thing i love it but look at this trench coat and as a matter of fact i have pretty much that exact trench coat almost in my um like stash so yes i love it with the crop and curving over and i would particularly wear it and again you can see that cheetah print almost like a cheetah print pattern on his bottoms and once again look at the uh gloves going all the way up so even with just a regular blazer like i was saying you can wear it like that so i absolutely Absolutely love that but what I was saying was the crop trench what I would wear under it can you imagine for women's wear of course for men's wear you may wear it differently but for women's wear I would wear that crop trench with the gathered um, curve up at the top but I would wear it with a bodycon dress so it's like kind of loose up at the top and then fit it underneath yes yes that would look amazing i have the already the trench coat and i already have the perfect dress so yes you guys let me know if you want to see that transformation all right so next up is off white and uh the designer virgil blow he actually went he did his master's at it which is the same school that i went to for architecture he has a master's in architecture so um i don't think i ever met him i just know that about him but i love to look at his shows he also designs for louis vuitton i believe but um like i was talking about before on this one we're talking about redefining the men's dress shirt so really really pay attention to something that we've already touched on maybe a couple of times on this channel and now you can see it on a dress shirt okay so we start off this show you can see the cutouts in that coat remember before we were talking about one of the things is cut out in coats and suit coat jackets so definitely pay attention to maybe you want to do some of that but look at this dress shirt it has the drawstrings to give it dimension and those tassels hanging down you guys it's well known on this channel i love anything with tassels hanging down this shirt is no exception you can see it in uh, navy blue and you can also see it in a bright yellow color i absolutely love that and i'm just showing you these pants because they are everything look at the way those pants flow they are absolutely everything but i wanted to show you guys this cut um this coat but i want to pause it just for a moment and just say look at this coat we're talking about capes but for me i'm looking at more alternatives to capes so things that kind of resemble capes kind of like the adidas sleeve coat that i did it has kind of that same mental um thing of a cape but it's not it's more streetwear so i really like this coat and i'm going to slow it down here so you can see it and we can discuss how you could possibly do that as an up cycle so you can see his coat here as he comes down the runway and i believe that his coat on the sides from the sleeve all the way probably down to the sides it has a zipper and even if you just want to do it to the underarm so you just unzip it when you want it to be more of a cape like thing so yeah you could definitely do that and then i want to show you that the uh drawstring top absolutely pairs amazingly underneath a blazer with just you can't see the drawstring but you can see the tassels hanging down and i really really like that both for men and women is just uh so good the colors are amazing as well but it's just so 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 good i love that and i definitely want to try that you guys know i stocked up on dress shirts so i am ready for it so i definitely want to try that and hey definitely consider being a member of my members only group if you want to know what the next videos are before anyone else if you want to advance viewing if you want upcycle classes if you want to get one-on-one -on -one help with your upcycles definitely hit that join button down below to learn more as well as you get to support this channel and make sure that i continue to make more and more amazing content here and especially for you guys who want to see me do more than two videos a week that's the way to do it so that we can continue to make this grow and grow and grow so next up we have Hermes and I am 
absolutely excited to share this show with you guys. I always love their show, um, but, and I probably, I should have known that I would love this, but there's three things that I really want you to focus on. I want you to focus on their, we had already talked about this in women's wear, cinched ankles but this one they have like almost like a d-ring buckle at the ankles and it's right at the very front and i absolutely love it and then they also have what i'm calling the double flat blazer you can see this and i've actually kind of caught it in a couple of shows but i love the way they did it and i think it will be a really simple um upcycle to do so definitely look out for that and then the last thing is the leather patch sweater um it's kind of a play off of the 80s early 90s kind of cosby sweater i think in, in my opinion but I just really really like the way it's done and I think it would be really simple to recreate that in, in your up cycles okay so I absolutely love the pattern on this sweater but I want you to look at his pants they're going to pan down and you can see that buckle on the front of his pants and it's just like a buckle strap and it just really cinches just the front of the pants and I really really like that him as well you can see the front of his pants and I just really really thought that that was really cool and I love that they're adding that both in women's and men's wear and look at his double flap blazer you can see it's almost like a different blazer because this is a contrasting color a different color than that and as well him as well and they did a lot of instead of collars they did a lot of ties so that's something you can do as well but I just really like these double flat blazers I just think they're so so cool and definitely something that we can definitely do I just said definitely 50 times. <laughs> but look at this sweater. It is amazing. Just take some pieces of faux leather that you get from, you know, I've been collecting leather and faux leather for a long time. So it's even on a just sweater and then a button, uh, open uh, sweater as well. So I just like the shapes of that. I like the colors, the contrasting colors that they use. It was really, really good. So yeah. And once again here, you can see the buckle on the ankles one last time. So I just, I think that these are just really simple things that you can do. I mean, it's, it doesn't take a whole lot um, to just make to just elevate to make your pieces just amazing to make them look designer so i hope that this puts me in the good graces of all of my male subscribers as well as the women i think that um this is just amazing for everybody but I did specifically want to do this to, you know, make up for all of the uh, women's wear that we do. But you guys know that I am completely glamorous and a girly girl. And at the same time, I'm a Tom boy. I don't know how you can be both at the same time, but I am. That's just who I am. So it is what it is. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Next up. I am talking to, um, you guys know that when I hit 100,000 subscribers, I told you guys that I was going to um, make an upcycle for a subscriber. Well, the first winner is a guy. I picked a guy and I am going to be making him a patchwork blazer. So on Saturday, if you're watching this video, the day it comes out, the very next video after this is me consulting with him and he's going to school me on menswear fashion. So yes, you don't want to miss that and I definitely will be showing the process of how I come up with his upcycle. So yes, that's going to be amazing. So definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell to get all notifications so you don't miss a thing. I do new videos every Thursday and every Saturday at 9 a.m. And I have this top that I need to make a new one of as well as some other videos over here for you to watch. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!